Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about the applications of elastic behavior of materials. Introduction. Elastic behavior of materials play an important role in everyday life. In our everyday life, each material's elastic behavior is considered while selecting them for each use. All engineering designs require precise knowledge of the elastic behavior of materials. For example, in case of a building or a bridge, the engineers need to have a thorough understanding about the strength of the materials so that the materials does not break under load or stress. Now, we can see the applications, some applications of the elastic behavior of materials. First one is in the case of cranes. Cranes are used for lifting and moving heavy loads from one place to another and have a thick metal rope on which the load is attached. The rope is pulled up using pulleys and motors. We can find the thickness required by the metal rope using the formula area of cross section should be greater than or equal to W by SY where W is weight of the load and SY is the yield strength of the metal. Usually steel braids are used for ease in manufacture, flexibility and strength. Now we can see the, its application in the case of bridges. A bridge has to be designed such that it can withstand the load of the flowing traffic, the force of winds and its own weight. Beams are used in building bridges and bending of beams under load is of prime importance. A bar of length L, breadth B and depth D when loaded at the center by a load W sacks by an amount given by delta is equal to W into L cubed by 4B D cubed Y where Y is the Young's modulus or the modulus of elasticity. Now we can consider this equation. Based on this, certain things can be arrived at. That is, in order to reduce the bending of beam for a given load, Young's modulus of the material should be high. Increasing the depth rather than breadth is more effective since the bending is inversely proportional to the cube of depth and length of span should be as small as possible. On increasing the depth, the bar may bend if the load is not at the right place and this phenomenon is called buckling. So to avoid buckling, a cross section as shown in figure is used. This section provides a large load bearing surface and enough depth to prevent bending. Also, this shape reduces the weight of the beam without sacrificing the strength and hence reduces the cost. Now next is the application in the case of pillars. A pillar with rounded end supports less load than that with a distributed shape at the ends. The one shown in the figure has got a distributed shape at its ends. So this type of pillars can support more load when compared to simple pillars. Now we can see the answer to this question which is why the maximum height of a mountain on earth is almost equal to 10 km by applying the principles of elasticity. A mountain base is not under uniform compression and this provides some 
shearing stress to the rocks under which they can flow. The stress due to all the material on the top should be less than the critical shearing stress at which the rocks flow. Else the rocks won't be held upright. It will fall down. So at the bottom of a mountain of height h, the force per unit area due to the weight of the mountain is h rho g, where rho is the density of the material of the mountain and g is the acceleration due to gravity. The material at the bottom experiences this force in the vertical direction and the sides of the mountain are free. Therefore, this is not a case of pressure or bulk compression. There is a shear component, approximately h rho g itself. Now the elastic limit for a typical rock is 30 into 10 raised to 7 Newton raised by meter square. So equating this to h rho g with rho is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 3 kilogram per meter cube is h rho g is equal to 30 into 10 raised to 7 Newton per meter square. Or h is equal to 30 into 10 raised to 7 Newton meter square by 3 into 10 raised to 3 kilogram per meter cube into 10 meter per second square. Here g is approximately taken as 10, which becomes almost equal to 10 kilometer. So this is why the maximum height of a mountain on earth is almost equal to 10 kilometer. So this is the end of this video. In this video, I have discussed some applications of the elastic behavior of materials. If you have got any doubt in any of the concepts discussed in this video, please comment in the section below this video. Thank you.